Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to study about algebraic fractions. First, let's see what algebraic fractions are. Any fraction with algebraic symbols in numerators or denominators or in both are called as algebraic fractions. Already you have learnt about algebraic fractions in grade 9. So, if you need to recall the basics of algebraic fractions, you can just go down to the description box and find the link to the basics of algebraic fractions that you have already studied in grade 9. Now, in grade 10, we are going to see how to simplify fractions with unequal algebraic terms in the denominator. Now, look at this. 5 over 3a plus 1 over 4a. Now, it is very clear the denominators of these two fractions are different. 3a in one and 4a in another. So, in basics of fractions, you have learned you can add or subtract fractions only if the denominators are similar. So, to equate the denominator, we have to think of a number which can be divided by both 3a and 4a. Or in other words, you have to think of the LCM of 3a and 4a. So, if you recall your knowledge about LCM, you will simply find out the LCM of these two algebraic terms is 12a. So, now we are going to equate the denominators to 12a. For that, we multiply the first fraction by 4 and the second fraction by 3. So, that you get the common denominator as 12a and 5 into 4 is 20 and you know 1 into 3 is 3. So, the final answer becomes 23 over 12a. Let's look into another example. Look here. 2 over x squared and 1 over 4y. Now, in this case, we have to think of the least common multiple of x squared and 4y. So, the least common multiple will be 4x squared y. In order to make the denominator 4x squared y, the first fraction must be multiplied by 4y and the second fraction must be multiplied by x squared. So, then you get the common denominator as 4x squared y where the numerator is 8y plus x squared. And then let's see into another example like this. Now here you have three fractions and all three fractions have different denominators. So in order to find out the least common multiple, let me give you a quick way of finding it. Now see this, 2a can be written as 2 into a. 5b squared can be written as 5 into b squared and 4b I write as 2 squared into b. Now here I have written all the three denominators as a product of prime numbers and the algebraic terms. So then thereby you can find out the LCM to be 20ab squared. So here in this case each denominator must be converted to 20ab squared. Now if you if you take the first fraction, the denominator is 2a. To make it 20ab squared, you have to multiply it by 10b squared. And so on, all the three fractions must be multiplied by respective terms in order to receive 20ab squared. Now, once when you multiply, the common denominator becomes 20ab squared. The first fraction thereby becomes 30b cubed over 20ab squared plus 16a squared over 20ab squared minus 15a squared b over 20ab squared. Now, in this case, all the denominators are same. Therefore, you can write down the simplified answer like this. So, this is how you simplify algebraic fractions with unequal algebraic terms in the denominator. Now, let's see another section. Simplifying algebraic fractions with unequal binomial expressions in the denominator. Now here, previously we had algebraic terms. Here we are going to have algebraic uh, unequal binomial expressions. So let's look into one example. 1 over 4 plus r plus 2 over 
1 plus r. So, here the denominators are 4 plus r and 1 plus r. So, let's see how to find out the least common multiple. The least common multiple of these two denominators will be 4 plus r into 1 plus r. So, the first fraction must be multiplied by 1 plus r and the second fraction must be multiplied by 4 plus r. I have marked the terms by which the fractions are multiplied in red. So, once when you remove the brackets, 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into r is r and then 2 into 4 is 8 plus 2 into r is 2r and the common denominator is 4 plus r and 1 plus r. So, once when you simplify 1 plus 8 is 9, r plus 2r is 9 plus 3r. Now, in this case, in 9 plus 3r, you can take 3 out of a bracket because it can be factorized further. further. So, the final answer becomes 3 times 3 plus r over 4 plus r into 1 plus r. Moving on to the next example. Now, in this case, 1 over a minus 5 plus 1 over a squared minus 3a minus 10. The first is a binomial expression. Second is a quadratic expression where you must factorize that. So, a squared minus 3a minus 10. Once when you factorize, you get it like this. a minus 5 into a plus 2. So, now you can see a minus 5 is common in both the denominators. a plus 2 must be added to the first fraction. So, in order to make the first fraction also have the denominator as a minus 5 into a plus 2, what we do is we multiply the first fraction by a plus 2 like this. Then, the common denominator is now very clear a minus 5 a plus 2 is the common denominator. Once when you remove the bracket in the first fraction, you get a plus 2 plus 1. The final answer becomes a plus 3 over a minus 5 into a plus 2. And then moving on to the next example, there you have three fractions with different binomial expressions. So, here the first fraction and the second fraction cannot be factorized further. The third fraction's denominator can be factorized as y minus 1 and y plus 1 because you know y squared minus 1 is difference of two squares. So, once when you multiply y minus 1 into y plus 1, you will get the difference of two squares. So, now you can see the common denominator must be y minus 1, y plus 1. So, the first fraction I multiply by y plus 1, the second fraction I multiply by y minus 1. And then we can very easily simplify by removing the brackets. Once when you remove the brackets, it will be like this. Now, y plus 2y is 3y. Plus 1 and minus 1 can be cancelled. Only minus 2 will remain. Therefore, the final answer becomes 3y minus 2 over y minus 1 into y plus 1. So, hope I made myself clear about how to simplify algebraic fractions with unequal denominators. So, see you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.